Well, guess what time it is? Another day, another video. That's what I like to say. I've got everything all ready, and I've got to I've got to run to the store because I'm getting low on some of my screws, two and a halves, twos, my eight vinyl sinkers, and see, I even found some sixteens. I knew I had some somewhere, but I've only used one sixteen so far. See, these are vinyl coated. I call them vinyl sinkers, but they call them they just call them common nails. Uh, box nails, they call these. Box nails, vinyl coated. And these were called common nails. Coated. Well, hey, so I'm going to run to the store in a few minutes, but before I do, I'm going to take my construction adhesive and that's why I got a case of this I've been going through this like mad I probably already used eight or nine tubes I think a case is 24 I don't know I forget now but I think it's cheaper buying a case too than individual so I'm gonna take that and remember I told you it was probably gonna crack as it sunk in and sure enough it did just a little bit See there? So I'm going to coat that. I'm going to coat that another time. I want to make sure that this OSB plywood is bonded to this 2x6. Okay, same thing over here. See there? All the way down. Same thing. And so I'm going to, I'm going to do a little bit of work doing this stuff. See, I put a second, a second coat on there. I might even put another one. I might even put another one. Seems as though I've got plenty of liquid nail construction adhesive. You can get any kind of construction adhesive. I just happen to like liquid nails, and they've got different ones. This is the red label. This is this is uh, the standard stuff. This is. This is the stuff they used to only carry, and then they started coming out with all kinds of other premium and stuff for plywood and all kinds of other things, but this stuff pretty much works for everything. Okay? And so today, you remember, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up from here and support the stairs, and then I'm also going to put some pieces up in here for this... Uh, uh, the stair riser because see where this was there's nothing holding the stair riser right here see on the on the um, original stringers everywhere where it goes up this risers nailed so it was nailed here it was also nailed where where this riser was it was also nailed where this one was you can see where the old location is right there well, I'm going to put some blocks up in here, glue them, screw them, and then I'll have to measure over, and I'll probably just measure over from the stucco over to where each block is, and then I'll go up on top, on top, and I'll measure over, I'll measure over from the stucco and put some marks on this from the outside and then put two screws, pre-drill it and put two screws into each one of these blocks wherever I put a block. Okay, so I've got I've got a little blocks blocking material going on and I I've, I've still got some two by sixes left from pieces I had cut at the store. And I've got some extra eight footers and some extra ten footers. And the ten footers, see I measured across here and this was five feet. So it's like, oh, okay, I can get a 10-footer at the store, and I'll cut that in half, and that'll get me two pieces. So that's how I did that. Because you can't buy 5-footers at the store, you can't buy 6-footers at the store. You can buy 8s, 8s, 10s, 12s, 14s, 16s. So you don't want to buy an 8-footer and then cut 3 feet off it and have a 3-foot scrap. You know, this was just barely, like I say, barely under 5 feet. Uh, because I got a ledger here which is a 2x6 and a 2x6 ledger over here so I could measure this all the way across and subtract 3 inches 
and it's just right now it's a little bit over five feet I think it's five foot one or some silly thing like that minus three inches I'm under five feet so that's why I got ten footers so I think I'm gonna have plenty of two by six material in fact I got some extra I always like to get a little extra because I can always take back a ten footer or two to the store one eight or something like that but when I'm in the middle of the project all sweaty and hot and wanting to finish and I need one more piece of wood that's not the time to have to go back to the store okay and here's 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 the other thing it's kind of early this morning and Momi's telling me hey be considerate of our neighbors don't try to make too much noise because as you know the skill saw makes noise the the uh, the impact drill makes the rat a tat 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 noise so I'm gonna humor her and I'm gonna go ahead and do all the caulking first that's nice and quiet I got all my tools down here I've got my I spent some time and brought my two by sixes in over here and then like I said I have to run to the store so I'll run to the store I'll have a little breakfast too before I come back in here and that'll be plenty enough time to have all the neighbors awake raring to go okay so if you want to watch my video today stick around hopefully you're gonna learn something that's more better we did the top plate remember to do the top up there just ran a nice bead down there and wiped it off I wiped my finger with any little bits of ex excess I put up there just to keep everything nice and clean because that's going to be covered with that 2x6 that ledger board okay I would remember to do these over here get that Oh, look it. I forgot that piece on that side. Dabbity nabbit. Okay. Let's get her done. That's more better. Hey, don't skimp on stuff. Don't don't say, ah, I forgot something. Ah, that's good enough. Nobody's ever going to see it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm never going to be down here again. No. Do the best of your ability on whatever you do. You know, you start doing this and here, it's going to graduate over in other aspects of your life. Remember that. Well, I'm back from the store. And guess how much just these screws and nails cost? These are 8D vinyl sinkers. Two and a half inch screws, two inch screws, inch and a quarter screws in here in these different boxes and they're the rust the rust 10 year warranty against rust and corrosion 10 years my booty you know who's who's going to replace them after 10 years i'm not but guess how much it's it's a crack up guess how much just this cost right here any guesses it was over 30 dollars i'm not joking eight dollars eight dollars eight dollars four dollars plus tax thirty dollars and twenty two cents I think it was how crazy is that and look at all the screws and nails I've already gotten and if you can imagine that what about all the wood that I got all the plywood I got all the paper all the everything else that I got you know that's why I'm trying trying to teach you how to do things on your own because if if it costs thirty dollars just for these screws can you imagine how much the labor would cost for this project to tear it down to treat the walls to re to clean it all up to rebuild it all and everything that I've done inside and everything that I still have to do can you imagine how much the labor would be if somebody came out here and a contractor came out here and probably gave me a price it's probably it would probably be 
uh, at least ten thousand dollars maybe twelve to fifteen thousand dollars and you know he's gonna charge X amount per labor per hour and then he's gonna charge 20 percent overhead and profit on top of that because hey he's got to make a profit too can you imagine all that that's why I'm trying to teach you all these different things on your own so when you have a project to do if you're up and able and willing to do it and you've learned all kinds of different things from me maybe you'll have the confidence to, to say hey if Joe can do it I can do that too you know so okay enough of that back to work I go yeah that probably computes to forty to fifty dollars per man hour and then you've got all that and then you've got the material and then he's gonna charge uh, overhead and profit on the materials and then he's gonna charge you to go pick up the materials haul the stuff away overhead and profit on the entire project when he's done man it's just mind-boggling how much stuff can cost so if you have an inkling of betting on yourself and feeling like hey I can MacGyver anything Joe can Joe Giver <laughs> and if Joe can do it of course I want to watch his videos so that I can learn how to do certain things too okay and then start paying yourself my word for some of these things then you'll have enough money to buy the material because you don't have to pay labor for anything to buy all of your tools start investing in tools for yourself because you can because now you're not paying somebody else to do all of your different projects you know things that you feel comfortable with hey things that you don't feel comfortable with maybe you shouldn't get involved with that or you can you can start it and 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 learn as you go yeah some of the things if I've never done it I might learn something I might make a few mistakes along the way but that's how you learn and that's how you get more better okay so thanks again for joining me and if you've not a subscriber yet hey subscribe I've got all kinds of things on my videos for you to save money around the house so back at it remember I told you the last time if you've been watching my videos you will have noticed that I was running low on my screws but I went ahead and pre-drilled everything anyways and I put just a few screws in periodically so that I could at least get my material up and finished okay so now all I have to do I've already pre-drilled these holes and now I'm going to go ahead and put in all my screws on all this stuff and attach all of these here. I'm going to attach those here like that. And then, uh, then I'll see what to do next.